Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Morrowind, where we have been doing some tasks for the Fighters Guild over at Wolverine Hall in Sadrith Mora. And we are doing some tasks for Hurundi, but before we get back to that, I wanted to do a little investigation. A little spear investigation. So recently we picked up this artifact, Ilkurak, which I really like because it has the Night Eye constant effect on it as well as the Fortify Spear, 10 points. And it is relatively lightweight at 14 units. Its thrust value is 6 to 22, so I was curious, now that we've picked up a Daedric Spear, how they compare. And now this weighs 42 units, which is really heavy, and its thrust value is 6 to 40, which is almost double what the Dwarven Spear does. And so, I wanted to check to see how both of those compare to the Devil Spear, or basically the Bound Sword. So let me summon one of those really quick. And let's check it out. It does the same 6 to 40 of the actual Daedric Spear, but it weighs 42 units less because it doesn't weigh anything, and it also gives you plus 10 points into your Spear skill. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the other two Spears here and continue using my Devil Spear. Alright, so the other thing I did is I have went to my stash and I picked up some more lockpicks and probes because I was running fairly low on those. And another thing I wanted to do was check the charge values of some of my items. Because we've been using a lot of those. Like muddy blows and my belt, yeah, so... So, I have... A slew of filled soul gems. So let's gonna p let's pick up a few of these. And at the same time, tidy up my little room here. And so, the way you use these is you just pick them up, throw them on your paper doll here, which for some reason mine is still bugged. Um, and I want to recharge an item. And this will give me the list of items that need recharging. You can see I have quite a few items that need to be recharged. And apparently I have to do this one at a time. And this actually is going to help out my uh, enchanting skill a little bit as well. Inlet of Shadows. You can see this has a lot of charge. And get about a hundred this menu system is a bit awkward. Yeah, we're going to need a few more soul gems. And these are all value 300, so I assume they're all relatively the same size. There is our enchanting skill going up a bit. You can see this amulet of shadows we've used quite extensively and it is showing. Almost there. Okay, finally that one's fully charged. What else have we got? Belt of Oak Strength and Belt of Armor of God. Yeah, we've used those quite a bit. 
and more enchanting. Let's see, let's pick up some more of these. Now we could just wait until these items recharge, but things seem to be getting a bit tougher for us uh, as we progress. I mean, uh, we are level 20 now. So <laughs> we were nearly caught last time, sort of overconfident against those outlaws. So I want to ensure that the next time we encounter something that powerful, uh, and of course the vampire too, have easily had troubles with. So the next time we encounter things that are that powerful, I just wonder if I can get that soul gem behind there. Apparently not. So the next time we encounter something that powerful, we're going to be ready for it because we barely escaped with our lives from all of those very powerful bandits and also that very powerful vampire. So things are getting real here in Morrowind, so we want to be prepared. Okay. So, now all of our items are recharged and we're ready to go. And we can leave those spears right there for now. The other thing I want to check quickly is the faction chests. Maybe they've resupplied some potions, which would be very useful to us. And they have. Excellent. So, fatigue, restore health, restore health, a strange cap, and irons, bolts, and hammers. Let's take all those. And <laughs> we're going to make use of our belt of orc strength in short order, aren't we? Actually, we're just going to sell some of these. Uh, these bolts we're not going to use. And this hat we're definitely not going to use. And these hammers... Okay, that's fine. Hammer I think we're going to use eventually to build up our armor skill. But until then, I've just been collecting them and throwing them on the ground here. The journeyman's. Okay, so these have not been used, and this has been used, and we don't have. Yeah, we're terrible. That's okay. All right, and since we're here, I'm just going to run over to the Mage's Guild and see if their faction chest has been refreshed. Restocked, I should say. In character, of course. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to me. And it has been willpower. Restore Magica. Ooh. De Denis Panacea. Cure common disease. Divine intervention. And some soul gems. And some books. We are hungry for books. Alright, that puts us nearly at capacity, so I'm going to go run to the bookstore and just sell these books. Make it quick, Outlander. And Vagaries of Magicka. And Origin of Mage Skill. So we need to sell some paper. Good enough. Alright, now I think we are ready to get back to our Fighter's Guild tasks. So, we are off.
So, back to Sadrith Mora. Hello, Madam Marion. Sadrith Mora, please. Well, what have we here? Interesting. I'll bet. Okay, so, to the Fighters Guild, our Magicka is... Well, you know what, let's... Let's head over to the Shrine. And do our daily devotion to the Divines. Yes? Yes. Might as well tap off our Magicka. And now, let's head back to the Fighters Guild. Can I help you out? Do you yeah, need do you really need to be up in my business? Hello. Ah, you bring good fortune with you. Welcome. Hello, Harundi. You here for orders or advancement, Protector? Or is there something else you wanted? I am here for orders. I need someone to get a load of Sujama to the Duranai Caverns. Workers in the Aedis Mine have been complaining that they're out of Sujama, and the Fighters Guild is responsible for supplying the Imperial Mines in Vardenfell. Take this load of Sujama to Nelakar in the Duranai Mines, southeast of Ghostgate between the Foyada Esenuden and the Foyada Asherden. Okay, I didn't know these Foyadas actually had names, but I guess that makes sense. They're kind of like roads. So, how much does... The, ooh, this Sujama weighs a lot. We are already encumbered. Oh, we have those arrows. We could have gotten rid of those. So how many... He gave us a load of 20 Sujama. Alright, how are we going to manage this? Well, let's see. Where do we have to go? We have to go to Ghostgate which is here, and there must be Foyala Pass around here, where the mine is. The directions were kind of vague, were they not? Which is southeast of Ghostgate. Okay. Southeast of Ghostgate, so it's got to be probably in here somewhere. Mm, there can be some dangerous critters there, so I'm not really enthused about taking all my armor off. How much do these weigh? Ten pounds of arrows? Okay, that helps a little bit. Hmm. Oh, the other thing I found is that I found this amulet of star vision, which I'm using to replace my really handy spear. So at least I so I am having the best of all worlds. I'm using my spear that has the most damage and least weight, and I've replaced the actual uh, night eye effect from it. And I still have the plus 10 to spear, which you can see my spear naturally is 99. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm not too happy. Okay, what I can do is get rid of some of these potions for now. This should be a... Basic delivery. Uh, restore health. Yeah, these potions weigh quite a bit. Cure paralyzation, we're going to keep those. Rising force, we can drop. We'll have enough rising force, I think. So, cure paralyzation, levitate. Drop some of these, too. Cure poison, we'll keep. Some more, levitate. Restore health and more rising force potions. Wow, we're like a, a walking cantina with all these all this booze on us. Um, we don't have any heavy books or anything. Still three pounds, three units overweight. What is this? Fortify willpower. Okay. There we go. All right. So. To Ghostgate. Jeez, that's a lot of potions. We've been carrying those around though. Can I help you out? So to get to Ghostgate, the best thing to do would be to get to Aldrun, which probably is just the easiest path. 
is getting a ride from the Mage's Guild. Nope. Ah. All right, I'm intrigued. Go ahead. Madam Einel. One way ticket to Aldrin, please. Alright, so now we just head east easterly to Ghost Gate. You are ah, friend. Not wearing shoes. How does the day Oh, great, thanks, Arndt. Good to see you. Sir. Sir. Ah, we have a beautiful day here in Morwind. And we're going the long way, actually. The day is so clear, we can actually see the ghost gate in the distance, there, up on the hills. There's some Tormer ruins in there, too. I can see them. Ah, maybe get a better look, since I'm not sure. The next time we'll have actual- ow! Clear weather. Interruptions. Hmm. Come on, acrobatics. Oh, darn it. And of course, we can't see the Dwemer ruins from here. Most unfortunate. Oh well. Now this Daedric Shrine we've avoided previously, and I expect we'll avoid it again. Make sure we are going in the right direction, and we are. I see that clan fair. Well, I can't have that clan fair being so close to town, now can I? Ah. Need to fix something. Oh, we're going to have to fix that. For now, we can just manually pick our spear. Ow. <coughs> I do like the clan fairs. Fearsome creatures. Ah, Mr. Shock Beetle. Welcome. Gladly allow you to attack me with spells so I can replenish my magicka. Thank you. Much obliged. Oh, I see a frost atronach. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we've been seen. Go, go, Devil Spear. I'm not a big fan of ice. Not a fan of ice. Fire, I don't mind. We are completely immune to fire. Oh, that's another one. Maybe we can 
can sneak up on this one. Dak has turned. Can't peach. Uh, risky, risky. Sounds kind of mechanical. Oh, our spear ran out. Do we have any lesser soul gems? I think his soul is too large to be contained within a lesser soul gem. So let's just. Ooh, frost salts. Thank you very much. I'm over encumbered somehow. Because of the frost salt. Alright. Let's nibble on some racer plumes. There we go. Alright, eastways. Oh, let's get a move on. Fight this kagudi and before our spear wears out. There we go. And we can nibble on some kagoody leather. Balloon mine. That is not the mine we are looking for. We are looking for Nelikar in the Dunerai Caverns, southeast of Ghostgate. Seems we are going the wrong direction. Alright, let's do this cliff racer. Number 23,156. Vanquished. Slide right down. Spear skill increased to 100. That is a natural 100. We've come a long, long way from stepping foot off the boat. I'm tempted to take some of that sujama, but I won't. I should put my belt back on as well. Um, this resin, I guess we'll nibble on that. Mmm, it tastes like maple syrup. Now, we need to go, probably, I'm gonna guess here. I'm really not sure. I'm just guessing it's in a place we have yet to explore. These Foyadas have names, but no road signs, unfortunately. However, they are filled with cliff racers, which is an added bonus. So now that our spear is maxed, we might think about using another weapon, just to get some practice in. And we have Daedric Shrine.
I shall scrape off thy cuttle. Or not. And then chew on it. Tastes like wax. Now, hmm. This we've not been to before. We have, actually. I am certain we're going the wrong way now. So, let's backtrack. Or, let's just fly over these cliffs. <laughs> there we go. Waiting for my fatigue to return to allow us to have a better chance of casting Levitate. Ooh, that does take a lot of magicka still. But it allows us to go over these mountains. To meet this cliff racer. I bet you didn't see that coming. Okay. Now we are coming into uncharted territory. Hopefully this is closer to our destination. This looks more on point. So it's interesting that these miners, which are pretty much they're breaking rocks all day, need some Sujama for their strength to break those rocks. If I was a miner, I certainly would want some Sujama to uh, ease my job. Oh. Nice try, Cliff Racer. Coming at me from behind, tail whipping my neck, and you brought a whole flock with you. Excellent. Just want to be sure that there's no cavern over here. Southeast of Ghost Gate. Daisha. So we're directly south of Ghost Gate. So this is. Hmm. Feel the bite of mine spear. I wonder if I should start at Ghost Gate and then just kind of loop around. Why don't we do that? The directions are very vague. It could be directly southeast of the Ghost Gate, very close, or it could be very far. We're not just sure. So, apparently we're gonna go the wrong way again. Unless we can jump over these mountains. Hello, Cliff Racer. 
How unexpected of you to drop in. And I have... No fatigue. So... Having one of those fatigue potions would have actually been useful. These creatures are actually... Hello. Creatures like cliff racers and other overland creatures are actually good opponents to start learning a new skill. Like maybe a sword skill. Or a blunt skill. I'll probably do sword. That seems fitting. Arion. Hmm, I wonder if this Arion ancestral tomb is related to the Master Arion of Telvas. Still. See, I wanted to check out this area. It might be even close. It could be like right there. So let's just go to Ghost Gate. Do not have enough climb skill to get up here? Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Let's just continue this way. Really don't want to use up all my magicka casting levitate. Or failing to cast levitate. This is a new area for us. Long and weary road. Carrying a case of Sujama that I cannot drink. Hello, Guar. Oh, you're not friendly. It pains me to have to kill you. But, defend myself, I will. Dunarai Caverns! We found it! Ow! <clears throat> Rotten Cliff Racers! Get extinct! Just stood there. Speaking of just standing there... Who's talking? Speaking of just standing there, so I'm looking for a fellow named Nelikar. Don't know you, what do you want? We Altmer are proud, wise, and beautiful. The Empire is built on the arts, crafts, and sciences of the High Elves. Our pure blood protects us from disease and makes us superior spellcrafters.
The Blight is a health-threatening volcanic cloud of full of ash. Plants and creatures in the Blight get Blight diseases. Oh, he's an archer. Interesting. Are you, Nelikar? Hello? Can we hurry this along? Hmm, I don't know you. What do you want? Do you have anything interesting to say? Lots of things to say, but nothing interesting. He's a witch hunter. I dedicate body and soul to the destruction of profane magics. Most foul are necromancers who defile the bodies and spirits of the sacred dead. Equally abominable are the evil data worshippers. The data lords delight in the torment and corruption of mortals. Right. House Veteran is an aristocratic house of noble warriors. They are strong supporters of the Tarbuno Temple. Thank you, Captain Obvious. That is some you have master. To say to me? No, I'm just looking for Nelikar. I'm gonna have to boot this racer. Chew on its plume and enter the caverns. Ah, Imperial Guard. Hello. I'm looking for Nelikar. Hmm. Don't carry those cheap armor's hammers around with you. Hammers are dead weight. Buy them and use them on the spot. If you're a short blade specialist and you like to travel light, it's often easier, it's often cheaper to own and carry backup weapons. What say you? Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Oh, they got a little cart action going on. And we've come across another volcanic glass mine. So we already know the drill. Not what to steal. Say? You are not quickly out there. I haven't much time. You're in a raw glass mine, and all the raw glass belongs to the Emperor. Yes, we know the party line already. Uh, airy red glow sends chills down my spine. Oh, apparently that's lava. Okay. I was not going to be happy about fighting a six house base down here in a mine. And curious minds want to know what is in a la carte. Nothing. I assume Nelikar is not a miner. He's the manager of the mine, perhaps, so he's probably over here, near the fire. Volanaro, another card. Nelikar! You must be the one the Fighters Guild sent with a new load of Sujama. Indeed it is. Are you Nelikar? I am Nelikar, mage. So, do you have this jamma? Yes, please take it. It has a whole crate of it. It is very heavy. Good. The miners will be very happy to have some fresh sujama. Personally, I cannot understand why anyone would drink this foul stuff. I prefer Valenwood wine myself. Well, I think we all would prefer Valenwood wine, if we could afford it. Your journal has been updated. The crate of sujama has been removed. Thing interesting to say. If you want to know everything there is to know about being a mage, let me suggest Esther Dallin at the Balmora Mages Guild. Yes, we've spoken with her quite a few times now. Have you heard of this new secret cult, the Sixth House? They say they sit around in caves, cutting off pieces of their own flesh and eating it. It's that corpus disease. It makes the flesh grow wild and crazy. Cut a piece off, and another piece grows back, bigger and better. Guards say we're looking into it. Right. That makes me feel better. I have no comment on the matter. Imperial culture regards blood vampires as destructive monsters to be hunted and destroyed. 
However, romantic notions of noble, virtuous vampires persist in imperial traditions, and vampires are thought to pass unrecognized in the Mages Guild and the imperial aristocracy. Alright. Mission accomplished. Raw glass unharvested. So... I think our best course of action is to just recall. And then report to Harundi of our success. Go ahead, I'm listening. Ooh, while I'm here, I want to get my spear repaired. What did I do to deserve this honor? I need to repair. Well, might as well get everything repaired. All right, thanks, Wayne. How wonderful! Welcome, Outlander. Hello, Madam Marion. How may I help you, Dunmer? One port two, Sadith Mora, please. Greetings to you, Dunmer. Greetings to you, I know. Ooh. Another supply chest. We should probably loot all of this stuff. Spirit of the Daedra. Take. And we should probably check out the Fighter's Guild. Action chest as well. Ooh, and go to the shrine. Speak freely, friend. You want something, friend? I do. I want my magic replenished. Thank you yes. very much. All right. Anything I can do for you? Ah, uh, yeah. You could stop guarding the door. Must be a faction chest here as well. Yeah, look at my mess. Equipment chest. Take these. Restore fatigue. Have used. Take it all, actually. We will clean up this mess, I promise, steward. Don't know why there's this Colovian fur helm on every faction chest, but. That's what it is. And we're just gonna dump that there. Oh, still encumbered. Alright. Hello, Harundi. We share the same company. What can I do for you? We have returned from the mine and we have delivered the Sujama. Have you gotten that shipment to the Dunarai Caverns yet? It's important that it be delivered. It is done. Good work, Livus. Here's 500 septums to cover your trouble. It's the best I can do for this type of contract. Actually, I'll take that. 500 septums to really deliver a crate of Sujama? That's not bad at all. Let's see, now what time is it? 8 p.m. So I think we're going to rest here for the night, clean up this mess, and then until next time, safe travels.